Guys, hello. Tony from the Outsider Channel here with Pumper Pip. And I think today we've got a nice little package for you guys. One of the things we've got is a trail guide at Chino Hills, which you guys have been asking for for quite a while, but I've been putting it off because it's kind of a winter riding spot here for me, and it's really hot there in the summertime. And the other thing I wanted to line up today with the Chino Hills trail guide is the Super Bloom. It's out in full force right now. Chino Hills is beautiful. This is the time to get out there. Oh, Pip just knocked the coffee over. One, one second. That's for me. As a disclaimer, I'm not going to do a disclaimer. You'll see what happens on the ride. This is some of the most interesting footage I've ever seen. Some of the most ridiculous surroundings I've ever been in. Um, first time I've ever felt claustrophobic on a ride. Let's just put it that way. Guys, stick around for the end uh, of this video. The descent looks pretty crazy. To the Super Bloom. So you guys know today is a Tuesday, early afternoon. Super Bloom season over here at Chino Hills. And uh, this road is packed already. You know, not packed right here parking, but there's cars flying by like it's a Saturday afternoon. So I'm expecting to see a lot of people on the trails today. Just to mention, I took a right into Chino Hills State Park just now. Uh, I, I didn't park in the park, not because I'm trying to avoid the fee, happy to support them, but because the start of this loop we're doing is on this side of the park, this top section at the very top of this short road climb. You're going to take your first right onto Bain Ridge Trail. Gets you off the road. If you guys are coming out to ride this right now, you'll be especially thankful because that was like rush hour up and down that road just now people are flocking to the bloom this is an all-level ride I would dip it into the almost cross-country category but there are some extremely fun descents over some rolling hills watch out for hikers because when the bloom is in full session people are staring at their phones taking photos family portraits with Bill Cindy and the kids Smile, say cheese. I don't care if you're hungry. We're gonna get this photo in the bloom, but always be friendly. Wow. I hope this isn't the way the rest of the ride's gonna be because it might cause some problems on the downhill. If I'm going this slow and it's turning my bars, hopefully it opens up right here. And it does. First descent of the day. Wow. <laughs> so this section we're on is usually one of my favorites. Um, I'm not so sure today with the grass length, but we'll see. It's like rolling hills, like Legend of Zelda style right now. The land of Hyrule. It's like riding a skinny. <laughs> That's exactly how it feels. You're on a skinny, because if you go too far to the left or right, you're going down. Thank you, gloves. So far. Ooh, that's kind of hurting. I know there's a cliff on the right here, even though I can't see it. Guys, I gotta stop for a second because holy cow, look at that. I think this is 
the one. This is the appreciation station we've all been waiting for. <laughs> You've got to take that in. It's like a Monet. We've got some bloomers. Oh, it's okay. Look at these flowers. Highly recommend getting out here, you guys. You get a beautiful riding on the bike. You're not gonna be doing sick drops, jumps, or rock gardens, but this is a different kind of ride and it only comes around for a couple months of the year out here in SoCal, so. Woo, you are missing out if you don't get out here. It's like a, the yellow brick road. Be careful on the descent here, because I see someone taking photos. make your own jumps and we're just gonna take this road right out to the main road and head down this for a bit and then snap a left up this trail with the fence on it and this will be a little single track waiting for you on the right hand side and then from here on out guys it's gonna be a Bit of a torture fest because there's a lot of climbing to do to get to the next fun single track. Oh, I'm getting swarmed by bees. That just happened. No stings. Yeah, in the summertime, this place is a completely different environment. It gets pretty hot out in this area and uh, it feels like a, you're getting baked in the sun. 107 degrees. For those of you that are new to the channel, I know that we've picked up a lot of you recently. Welcome. Uh, I've got a new video every single week. We're based around trail guides on this channel, but I'm always throwing in some kind of fun ride with some buddies or some people on the trail or some locals, basically to give you guys more of an access to the trail systems in your area. I'm primarily focused out of Southern California, but lots of traveling coming up this year. Anyway, welcome, stick around and as always, I've got all the information on this ride that I can provide. Parking, Strava, trail forks, MTB projects, all that good stuff in the descriptions below. I try to do that for every video. And links to the products that I use and recommend that you see me using on the trail. I'm not saying that they're the best ones. They're just the ones that I'm riding right now and I seem to like. And eventually you're gonna come to a fork. Stay left. It's hard to see the fork right now because it's overgrown, but usually this is all dirt. And we're gonna head up Southridge Trail. And we've still got one monster of a climb before we head down some single track. There we are. The name of this peak I'll look up for you after the fact is called, there you go. And we've got a steep descent back into Southridge Trail where we're gonna head down into our next single track. Finally, some descent. 360 Appreciation Station. There we go. Oh, I can't see really. So we're gonna be looking for a trail called Bovinian Delight on the right hand side, right off of Southridge Trail. And here it is. Let's get our uh, leg scratchy on Bovinian Delight. This is a blue trail. Uh, I haven't been on this in quite a while, probably a year. 
a lot of fire road in Chino Hills, but the single track they have is beautiful. I'm just like focusing on staying in the center of this trail right now. Get out of here, rut. We're coming up to Four Corners, which is a good stopping point. Drink up, have a snack if you want. Because we're gonna be heading up Raptor Ridge. In the meantime, take a look at the map if you want. There's even a porter potty here now. Some shady picnic benches, trash. Get a full barbecue day here. Fun for the whole family. San Juan Hill. That's the name of that peak. Yeah, I know you already told them. I'm just, you know, in real time here. I don't have the opportunity to go into the future and correct myself like you do. So there it is. The only reason you know is because I know and you're me. <laughs> Raptor Ridge is looking mighty overgrown. Wow, that's thick. That's very thick. I don't think I have a choice but to keep pedaling because I don't think I could walk through this right now with a bike. Uh, feeling claustrophobic. Okay, we're starting to cross over into Ridiculousville right now. <sighs> ah! And you just soak my uh, knuckles in ice after this one. For you guys, if you're gonna come out here, Raptor Ridge right now is pretty unrideable. Fault Line is a trail that I'm more familiar with anyway. Um, usually Chino Hill State Park is pretty on top of this stuff. I've been here before where it's been like completely mowed out and open. I think I just caught this ride at that moment in time where it's in between their mow. <laughs> That's to the thing. Anyway, sorry guys, I'm catching them in between their mow right now. I'm trying to find a positive thing about it. Working on my balance. Riding the skinnies. Uh, I'm toughening up my knuckles. Oh. Usually you could fly through this. I just don't trust it. Ah, on the face. That's the first lap to the face I got. <laughs> oh man. I'm not kidding when I say this hurts. Oh man, I think I'm getting cut up right now. Almost there. Almost there. Woo! Holy cow. That was insane. My knuckles are stained green. I was gonna say I should have wore thicker gloves today, but I didn't think of it. Good thing I have them on. <laughs> Made a hole right through them. You gotta traverse a bit of a fire road on the way out of this trail. So I wanna give like a, a disclaimer. That's not usually like that. <laughs> I would recommend either calling here, ask if they cut before you come out right now, but I'm, I'm thinking they're gonna cut down the trails very soon, because that's hard to even walk through. It's like up to my head. I was getting slapped in the face most of the time, just 
gritting my teeth and holding on. And eventually you're just gonna come to a parking lot. With that view right there, all you do is enjoy the ride back to the car because this is the road we came in on. Look at that, orange poppy. The poppy is popping today, you guys. Pardon the pun. Dad jokes are flying today, but I'm childless. <laughs> Makes it sound depressing. I'm childless. <laughs> it's my choice, okay? I don't have any kids yet. I don't know if we'll have any. TMI. I'm Tony from the Outsider Channel. Thanks for letting me bring your map to life. 